Koji and Kaya, you think Blast Epoch is going to be fun on release in a couple days here? Let's give our opinion. Hi, this is Malfasar here, and this is my opinion on whether or not you should play Last Epoch on release. Now, I'm not going to pretend I am an expert, but I am definitely a big fan of the ARPG genre, and I've been playing ARPGs for a very, very long time, and I have easily... 70 plus hours already logged into last epoch as of last year when i first started playing before diablo 4's launch so i'm just going to give you a quick breakdown on the game and you can kind of decide whether or not you want to put that time into last epoch when it launches in a few days here the class selection is actually very robust you get five base classes and each of those five base classes have three masteries that you can choose from that gives you a lot of option and play styles to choose from which is fantastic and each of those classes will have a, their own unique feel and play style as you progress you'll get five skills that you'll be able to actually further specialize in giving you access to skill trees for your skills to further customize them and further customize your feel making each skill even feel unique and change your play style through the game. And what's an action RPG without loot? The loot in this game is fantastic. You'll get your uniques, you'll get your regular items as well. And there's actually a crafting system in here where you'll be able to craft onto uniques and your regular items, allowing you to really push the limits of your character by crafting specialized gear to make your character the strongest they can be. While it's not super complicated, it is a rabbit hole you can go dive deeper into if you want to make the best gear in the game. Every character is going to have to run through the campaign as you get progress through the campaign. Completing side quests and main objectives will unlock passive points and idle slots. Idols are equivalent of charms from Diablo 2, but you unlock a special slot for each of those idols that you can use for each of your classes to kind of give you some extra bonuses on the side. But all you have to do is just play through the campaign. There's only certain quests you actually have to do to unlock those free passive points and idol slots. So if you want to power through it, I'm sure there are guides out there for what side quests you can complete. And then once you've got to that point, you can actually then proceed to the end game system. So the first and main end game system, I would say, is the monoliths. Monoliths are probably easy to compare to mapping in Path of Exile. You'll run these monoliths as you further the corruption in the monolith, you'll unlock certain events. As you can complete the events, you work your way towards a boss fight. Once you complete the boss fight, you'll get a unique blessing that will affect your character. And then once you've got that blessing, by doing it again, you can potentially replace the blessing with a different blessing because each uh, monolith has a particular blessings you can earn while you're playing through it. And once you've completed all the monoliths, you'll unlock empowered monoliths, which are all level 100. And that is when you're going to start doing your end game grind and be going for the most lucrative loot in these monoliths. And you're able to actually corrupt them so you can get even better loot odds. And the challenge will also increase significantly the more corrupted your monoliths get. Next, you have dungeons. While you play through Last Epoch, you will earn keys that will unlock you access to these dungeons. Using those keys, you'll be able to enter the dungeons. And there are different difficulty levels you can actually choose from, which will increase your chance of getting better loot. Each dungeon will have a unique boss and unique mechanics to it. You'll just play through those, and a lot of these dungeons will have farmable drops that you may be looking for for your character as well as a special event that will occur at the end of the dungeons and the last major event would be the arenas 
here you'll enter endless waves of combat pushing your character to its limits seeing how long you can go and this is where the leaderboards are and you can push for that number one slot as the best class being able to push through the most waves here in these arenas there will be keys that you earn to enter these arenas similar to how the dungeons work so is it worth it to play last epoch in my opinion yes the systems are fleshed out very nicely with tons of ways to play tons of ways to build each class and masteries of each of those classes a robust end game system just lots of activities to keep you busy such as crafting monoliths dungeons and the arena for that leaderboard so if i was going to say should you play on the 21st i'd say it's worth checking out and if you're still not sure you can always join us live when we start playing last epoch here on our youtube channel and we'll be playing it exclusively for the next little bit here so on february 21st we're going to be diving right into last epoch and checking it out uh, together here on our youtube channel we'll be streaming so that's on wednesday i think I've been looking forward to Last Epoch for quite some time now, and I'm really looking forward to diving in on the full release with everything it has to offer. What I recommend is checking out our past live stream video over here and seeing if it's for you or come join us on Wednesday on launch day when we get streaming and starting our new character in Last Epoch. So I hope you found this overview helpful. I personally think it's going to be a great game to get into and if you have any questions leave your thoughts in the comments and drop a like and subscribe if you want to see more of our last epoch content on launch so until next time my friends